KNC-TV 45 in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. March 18, 2015, Governor Tom Wolf visited the city of Newcastle and the Newcastle Area School District. He was told that there was a reduction in staff via attrition and layoffs, 26 via attrition and three layoffs. Class sizes grew by approximately three students per class in grades K to 12. Program cuts included tutoring, the arts and extracurriculars, delays and postponements in the purchasing of curriculum items and technology. Pre-K down from a full day to a half day program. Reserves dwindled by two million plus over the last four years. Closing three buildings and concessionary contracts. Governor Wolf's Schools That Teach tour was in Newcastle to address that. The governor spent the morning with students and teachers and administrators at George Washington Intermediate School in Newcastle, Lawrence County, Pennsylvania. The governor's budget proposes a 1.3 million increase in state funding for the Newcastle area school district. Additionally, it will provide the district with an allocation of 7.8 million in property tax relief. Governor Wolf has visited more than a dozen schools and colleges promoting his historic investment plan for education. During the past four years, Pennsylvania has took steps in the wrong direction by trying to balance our state budget on the backs of our schools, Governor Wolf said. This is not a formula for success. We can do a lot better. It's just simple. Our state is going to get stronger, isn't going to get stronger until we invest in our students. Governor Wolf's proposal, called the Pennsylvania Education Investment Act, is expected to generate over a billion dollars by 2017 by enacting a reasonable 5% severance tax plus 4.7 cents per thousand feet of volume of natural gas extraction. It will allow a similar structure to neighboring West Virginia and will include the existing impact fee. We are the only natural gas producing state that does not impose a severance tax coming said we can get Pennsylvania back on track starting with common sense severance taxes that will help fund our schools. An idea with bipartisan support. But the governor said right passing wrongs is not enough. So he will not stop there. We can't because the way things were before is not good enough, Governor Wolf said. Far too long, we haven't paid enough attention to the fact that Pennsylvania ranks near the bottom of the country in state investments in K-12 education. We need to change that. My plan increases our investment in public schools at every grade level. The governor's budget will increase the state's share of funding for public education to 50% for the first time in at least four decades, while creating new accountability measures requiring schools to demonstrate that they are preparing students for success. For NCTV 45, I'm Angelo Parada. We have a, a goal for our third nine weeks here at George Washington, and our magic number is 704. 704 represents the amount of students we have in the building who we want to be reading at or above grade level. We reach our target every nine weeks, we set different goals, and our new goal 
the 704. We're currently at 664, and we have targeted students to get that new number to 704. We're a gold process school focused on student growth. On behalf of the Newcastle Area School District, I would just like to say thank you for Governor Wolf, number one, for serving as governor. We certainly know that he didn't need this job. Uh, he's passionate about uh, what the state of Pennsylvania needs, and we're excited that we have somebody to advocate for us. So, uh, you will always have an advocate and a friend in Newcastle.